Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. Let us see how we can manage this case. After making the main incisions, I make a puncture on the anterior capsule with a 26 gauge bent needle. In this case, I have used Hylocote, which is a combination of sodium hyaluronate and chondroitin sulfate. As soon as I make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule, milky fluid comes out. I use a Simco cannula now to remove most of the liquefied cortical matter. And now I inject Hylocote again. and I try to do the capsulorexis. In such cases, the genule is weak and a vigorous pull can cause genular tear and even the bag may come out. But in this case, the genule doesn't appear so weak and I'm able to do uh, a rexis. But this is a small one, so I'm going to go again all around. We can call this a spiral rexis. And trying to make it a little bigger. and there is some localized fibrotic patches on the anterior capsule. Inject some more hylocote and now I go again with the utrata. After several attempts here I could hold the, new, uh, the capsule attack again and could do uh, could complete the rexis, but it's still small. But I don't want to take any more chances without putting a capsular tension ring. So here goes the capsular tension ring. I usually put it through the main incision with the help of a MacPherson's forceps and a tooth forceps. And now here I hold the capsular tag very close to the trailing end of the CTR, use a Sinsky hook through the side port and as soon as I go inside the bag I find that I cannot release the uh, trailing end. What to do now? I take another hook and press over this hook and the capsule tag and the CTR gets released. And now I prolapse the small nucleus out of the capsule bag and my plan is to put a intraocular lens at this moment. And here goes a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Once this is done, I am sure that the posterior capsule will be intact. Now the nucleus is almost touching the cornea, so I have to bring it down. I used visco, now I am using this hook to place it at the iris plane. And now I go with the FACO handpiece. At this time the vacuum is 400, flow rate is 40 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy is set at 70 percent. And without any fear in mind and with 100 percent protection of the posterior capsule, I could emulsify this lens. 
a CTR is in place, the posterior capsule is being protected by the intraocular lens and I am relieved and yes, the nucleus has been managed very well. And now, I use high look coat again. My plan is to enlarge the rexis at the uh, from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock part. I am sitting at head end, the main incision is at 11 o'clock. So, I have to enlarge the rexis from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. This is the right eye of the patient. I make a small cut at the rexis margin at 12 o'clock. And now I take the uterata forceps again, hold this capsular tag and with gentle pull, I could tear off a portion of the capsule and now the rexis appears okay. And now is the time to remove the visco and conclude the case. There is no cortex in this case. All the cortex has been liquefied and it has been aspirated at the beginning of the surgery before doing the capsular excess, just after making a puncture at the central portion of the capsule. Remember that in hypermature or Gagnian cataract, we can aspirate the milky fluid without doing a small rexis, but in intumescent contract, we have to do a mini rexis. In hypermature Morgagnian cataract, the milky fluid comes and the tear that we make at the center of the capsule does not extend. But in intumescent cataract, if we do not do a small rexis, it may extend immediately. The visco is cleaned nicely, first with Simco, now with bimanual and now see what I am going to do, the next move. I am going through the side port and at this time, uh, probably a capsule, a, a vitreous strand has come to the side port on the right side of the main incision which is at around 7.30 o'clock. I use some moxie, hydrate the wounds and close the side ports. At this time, what I should have done is use a bit of tramsinolone acetate. I went behind the lens and cleaned visco. And now I form the anterior chamber well. After forming the anterior chamber, I check the integrity of the wounds and conclude the case. So, I could have used a bit of tamsinolone acetate and check for any vitreous strand. Now, this is the next day picture. There is a vitreous strand at 7 o'clock sideboard. I take the case on the operation table again, open the wounds use irrigation at the side port and take a vana scissor and cut this capsular tag. And to check whether I have done it completely or not, I use a bit of tramsinolone now, diluted tramsinolone 50 is to 50. That is 1 ml of tramsinolone is made 2 ml by adding BSS and I find that there is no 
tag and the pupillary margin is free. I pull the pupillary margin a bit and again I form the anterior chamber nicely, check the integrity of the ohms and conclude the case.